that when we're here, I've been here since one o'clock, and I want to tell you the story, so I, I'm going to ask the ancestor to give me the energy. Yeah, <laughs> So I'm going to do the story for you. I'm going to try. <clears throat> so it's a mix of songs and poems about the country where I'm from, the Congo. We are not ruined. We are the ones who wear cornrows in our hair, in our heads, and draw tattoos on our wounds to show the world our precious uniqueness. We are not ruined. We are the ones who tie wrappers around our hips to go out, two for the married women, one for the single ones. We are not ruined. We are the ones who eat white clay when we're expecting to give trends to our babies while they're growing inside our womb. We are not ruined. We are the ones who gather together in the evening to share stories and laughter and to ask one another, Citoyen! Hey! Mm -hmm. Hey! Hello! We are not ruined. We are the ones who wake up every morning to go sell dumplings and cassava at the market to provide for our families. We are the ones who manage to make a living despite the power cuts, the unpaid salaries, and the unmaintained roads. We are the ones who are tired of our corrupted governments who steal the country's money while our own children are starving. We are not ruined, we are the survivors of colonialism, imperialism, dictatorship, and genocide. We are the ones who know that when foreigners come and take our diamonds, our copper, our cobalt, our cotton, and give us a rice bag in exchange, this is not fair trade. Mm -hmm. We are not ruined. We are the ones who reclaim justice for the six million dead in the Democratic Republic of Congo since 1998. We are the women whose mothers and daughters and granddaughters are abused and raped every day by soldiers who use guns and machete to make sure that our bodies will never give birth again. But we are not ruined. We are the ones still standing on our feet, shaking in tears, but still standing. Because they might destroy our bodies, but they won't destroy our spirits. And as long as we'll be, and, and, they, and though they want us to keep crying, we are the ones who keep up praying and singing like, we are not ruined. We are the women of Bukavu, Goma, Uvira, Beni, walking together in our streets to reclaim our dignity. And as long as we'll be breathing, we'll have the strength to keep on telling to the soldiers who think that they can destroy us, we are not ruined. Mm -hmm. To the Westerners who think that they can manipulate us, we are not ruined. Mm -hmm. To the government who think that they can despise us, we are not ruined. We are not ruined. We are not ruined. Those who've known me for a while call me Dina Muela because I'm a dangerous mix with Songe, Nuba. I'm from a city that once was called Bakonga. My hey. parents met on the street called Bahata. I come from those who write their stories on the Lukasa. Those who speak Kisonge, Swahili, Tiruba. Those who wear long clothes that are made from Rafia. Those who start their day with a plate of Nchima. The disease came to the floor with my eyes wide open. They sang her to enforce Mama said it was recent. I grew up in France. In the neighborhood for good. For those who know some friends, it's all they are as soon. I was a quiet child, a silent observer, a lot of imagination, already a dreamer. 
He used to play hide and seek with my big brother. Squirts and bruises on their knees from trying to climb on these trees. Then came the teenage years. Acne, braces, and pink clothes. First bra, first prior to them, and nothing was simple. Got my first text published by your local newspapers with my papa air style. I thought that was too fly. Hey. 17 was the age where I moved to Paris. Got my ears and nose pierced. Started looking fierce. First first, first flight is where the hip hop years listening to I am and Minister Hamet. I was the student and by day, particular by night, working hard, 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 and still passing those exams. But in the streets of Paris, I experienced too many things. Sometimes even wondering if my life was worth living. I watched my sister set up bodies on the street of Kenyon Kuhn. When my brother was dealing late at night in Chateau Rouge, deep inside I started feeling more and more anger. I had to get by day after day, and my kids become darker. Plus those were the years when we lost family members. Two of my aunts passed away, and it wasn't simple for the others. But so Talking to mom on the phone and she couldn't stop praying when we were safe in Europe back home our country, back home our cousins were dying. One day I wrote a story about a lonely child experiencing racism in a world gone wild. Because the eye of a producer I said it would be perfect for the big screen. He said I was a good screenwriter and his team started shooting. Mm. By the time the film came me, I was a natural sister. I took goodbye to the relaxer, started playing some capoeira, I was always wrapping my head with a liquita, like my mom before me and her mom before her. But don't worry, on Friday night, I was still on the dance floor, representing for my team, Congolese. Hey! And some Makuka, premier Gaou, and pas Gaou, and some Renique Seka. It became harder and harder to try to open the doors, try to climb the ladders. After a while, I realized that to be able to be, or it was time to pack my luggage and to leave the country. So I said, so I gave a last hug to my friends and to my mom and to my father, and this is how one day I moved to Canada. Yeah. God knows it was not easy for me to start over, but luckily on my journey, I met some beautiful sisters. And now if you want to know what is happening next, you have to follow my blood, my sight, my text, always having new ideas, new plans, new projects. There's one thing is for sure, I like to challenge myself. And if you've known me for a while, call me Ina Muela, because I'm a vibrant mix, Musongi, Muduba, straight connection, Bujimai, Kaganda. From my dad, I come from a long line of Muela, and from my mother's side, from Ono Kanga. I don't know how long I'm going to stay in this game, but if you know me, you know I have to finish with a band. Yeah. And when everything is done, and it's time to write the end, I got my girls, my sons, my family, my friends, and bring my ashes back to my heart on back, Muela. But they have loved me for a while, call me Gina Muela. Let me to rest next to my auntie Mika, next to my uncle Kasei, my great grandma Daya, Mamukan Kuchia, Mutumba, Bamanya, Kalala, Mushiya, Kasanji, Mfamba, next to my great granddad, Mutunda Kashima, and my great great granddad, Mundu Amuela, let me to rest next to all my band, Kamboa, because they've known me for a while. <laughs> and why his body was dissolved in acid so that no proper grave could be dug for him. Mm. They feed you murders and rape so that you won't ask about Florida Shedeya, voice of the voiceless, La Voix des Sans-Voix, whose body was found in the backseat of his car on June 2nd, 2010. They feed you murders and rape so that you keep not paying attention to the thousands of Congolese who have organized demonstrations in Ottawa, London, Paris, Washington to protest against the last Congolese elections. 
to inquire about those 1.6 million missing ballots, despite only being met with media indifference and police repression. They feed you murders and rapes to make sure you forget about the hundreds of United Nations staff members who have sexually abused and exploited Congolese war refugees, asking for favors from women and little girls in exchange of food. To the point where uh, Secretary General Kofi Annan had to remind them about the basics of the United Nations Code of Conduct. <laughs> they feed you murders and rapes so that you won't remember to criticize your own presidents who have all shaken hands with those African dictators, who have all danced with the devils, put them in power, kept them in power, train them, send them more weapons that they needed, even though they are not trying to delete that embarrassing part of the story. They feed you murders and rape so that you don't research why in the summer of 1939, Albert Einstein wrote to President Roosevelt about the importance of securing and controlling the Congolese uranium and how shortly after that same uranium was used to start building the first two nuclear weapons. They feed you murders and rapes so that you can forget about Ernesto Che Guevara, El Comandante, about how and why he traveled to the Congo in 1965. 12 Cuban revolutionaries by his side, ready to spend six months in the Kivu mountains and reminding the international community that Patrice Lumumba's murder should be a lesson for us all. They feed you murders and rapes so that they can ask for more military intervention, so that you can agree to send more soldiers, more troops, more weapons, basically agreeing to more imperialism, more exploitation, and more control. They feed you murders and rapes so that they can remain silent about Congolese first genocide, not mentioning how at the beginning of the 20th century, 10 million of Congolese already lost their life, subjected to first labor by Leopold, king of Belgium, who exploited them, exploited them to build his personal fortune while telling the international community that his goal was to protect and uplift the Congolese. They did you murders and rape to make sure you never think about those anonymous heroes, those unsung individuals who, despite colonization, dictatorship, genocide, keep resisting oppression, keep trying to survive, keep dreaming of a better life for themselves and their children. Because see, while they feed you murders and rapes, despair and hate and nothing else, some of us still feed ourselves with truth and knowledge. Some of us still feed ourselves with light and wisdom. Some of us still remember the words of Patrice Lumumba when he said, I want my children to be told that the future of the Congo is beautiful. Yeah. Or when he predicted that Africa will write its own history one day. And it will not be a history told in the United Nations, Washington, Paris, or Brussels. Both north and south of the Sahara, it will be a history full of dignity. While they feed you murders and rapes, some of us still believe that the day will come where corrupted governments will be held accountable and war criminals will be judged. Some of us still believe that multinationals will have to pay a fair and ethical price to buy all resources one day. Some of us still believe that the day will come where our leaders won't be systematically assassinated when they ask for respect and fair treatment of all people. See, while they feed you murders and rapes, despair and hate and nothing else, some of us still believe in the marvelous possibility of our own freedom.
Nagi, à Bonzola, on est tous à Batanga, Bodin 1, Bodin 2, il y a de Bidia et de Panga. Bana Boto, Boto, Monté France, Monté Congo. Les gens qu'on débarque à Dili, tout le monde crie, hé, Bana Boto, une barre du 30 juin, un statut du monde bas, une service express ici, c'est Kinshasa. Mais quand on a du Congo, parfois c'est trop dépensé, de la lumière quand je pense à ma grand-mère. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 